this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to block ads in Cydia. Now, it seems as if each time I go on Cydia, the ads get more and more um, annoying, and they just pop up, and there's even more ads each time. So this is um, a way that they'll keep updating it as the um, ads update. So um, this is the sinful iPhone form that has the download link. Now, it'll be kind of hard to read this, but um, here it'll have a couple links already. Um, just scroll down. Scroll down to where it says newest version. Um, right here where it says newest version. Um, so click on this link right here. And um, you can do this on your computer and transfer the host file over if you SSH. And for those of you who know how to, know how to do that, I don't really need to show you how. But I'm going to show you how to do it using iFile. Now if you don't have an iFile already, you'll have to download that. And if you need to add the source, you can add the source uh, repo.insanelyi.com or www.ihexrepo.com. So add one of those sources and get iFile. You will need this to um, install your host file. Okay, so for those of you who don't know how to SSH, what you're going to need to do is click on the link like I have and click the, bo the button that says download. Okay, so then you're gonna click on the top one which says direct download. And now this is the part that's kind of annoying. Because instead of downloading an actual file, it just shows you what the host file contains, which is a couple thousand lines of text of the different links. So what you're gonna need to do is go through the painful process of selecting everything. Now unfortunately, the select all feature is not actually a feature. Or the, you know, the select all then copy, it doesn't work for this. As I will demonstrate. Okay, so as you can see here, what you'll have to do basically is go like this. And it takes a long time. But you'll have to keep going all the way down to the bottom of this. And then once you're done, just take copy. And I'll copy all of this. And then what you're going to want to do, once you copy all of it, is now you're going to have to go into iFile to actually add it to your host file. And um, for those of you that have a faster iPod, like 3rd uh, or 4th gen, I'll show you what to do. Most of you probably have the 3rd or 4th gen. So you're going to go into slash, all the way back down to slash, and then click etc. Click it. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says hosts. Now, for you, your file will be a little bit smaller. I have another random file here, so I'll get rid of that. that. That's confusing. So, you'll have a host file. It'll be 300 or less kilobytes. What you're going to do is click on it and then say text viewer. Then, what happens is it'll load a page and you'll just paste the text in. You'll just, you know, you know how to paste text, so you just paste the text in that box. Okay, so yeah, so that's how you do it for the fourth gens. And for those of you who have a slower iPod like me, what you're going to need to do is um, copy it. Is once you have the text copied, you're going to hit edit and hit the plus button then. And then you're going to basically name it hosts. Um, make sure it's the lowercase s h. I'm just doing this just a uh, host too. Now the type you're going to make it is a regular file. Make sure you change that, otherwise it'll just create a random folder called host two. And then you're going to say create. And since it already exists, I'll have to change it for whatever okay so as you can see here now you'll have a empty file called host4 and you're gonna open that up with your text viewer and then paste the text in so that's what you do if you have a second gen cuz here it's it loads the zero bytes in the text editor perfectly fine then that's where you paste all your text in if you can't load the already the one that's already in there but if you have a fourth gen you can easily just paste it in the host file so here you can see um, Cydia loads just the same as before. It, uh, the, it doesn't like glitch it or anything. Um, so if you go into manage here, I'll show you what a couple of the different sources look like. So first I'll start out with Big Boss. Okay, so here you can see um, this is the Big Boss package. It's completely loaded. And as we scroll down, we see the little Big Boss logo. That's the only thing that's even remotely an ad. There's uh, the long description for this different thing. No ads, no ads, no ads, no ads. So that's Big Boss. I'll show you another one. 
Yo. Okay, so here you can see me on the insanely iPhone repo. Now, um, here it only all it has is just one little skinny ad here. It doesn't really slow down the load time very much. And uh, you can see the description. And here you can see a blank box where an ad usually is. Now, um, th it doesn't actually load the ad, so that's where it saves. There's still the space there, but since it doesn't load the ad, it doesn't have to load the picture. Therefore, it doesn't actually slow down your time. And as you can see here, there are no more ads at all. So that's insanely I. Uh, I'll show you Madi Mai next. Okay, so here is Madi Mai. I think it does a really good job here. As you can see here, no ads, no empty boxes, no nothing. So, even though it doesn't really make much sense, but so that's Madi Mai. And the last one I'll show you is the iHex repo. Now this is the one that I have to say it definitely blocks the most. Okay, so here is the iHex repo. Now, if we scroll down, there's one blank one there, one blank one there. There's uh, two empty spots here where it says your ad. Those are usually smaller ads or text ads, so it's got rid of those. And we have another big ad right here that I got rid of. So that's five different ads that it blocks in iHacks repo. So that really cuts down the load time a lot. And especially if you have a newer generation, it just goes just like that. So um, this is a really nice utility for blocking stuff on a bunch of your sources. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped. Thanks to you for watching. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.